Ireland has over 4,000 kilometres of coastline and coast is a very special habitat for Ireland. This site here is even more special because on the one side we have the sea and its salty water and on the other side we have a freshwater lake and in the middle we have this bar full of shingle or gravel and this is a very special habitat. It's, it's listed under the EU Habitats Directive as vegetated shingle and I'm going to show you some of the really special plants that grow here. This is one of Ireland's critically endangered plant species. This plant is Achillea maritima, which means it only grows by the sea. It's a maritime plant. So what's really special about this plant is that this is the last site in Ireland where it grows. It used to grow in Kerry, in Waterford and in Wicklow up to the 1960s. And now it's much reduced to just this one site on the southeast coast. So critically endangered means there's less than 50 individuals. And as you can see here today, the numbers are dwindling year on year. So it's one of these plants, um, it's very special. It's basically a Mediterranean plant. So it's kind of well used to the heat and the sun. And you can see it's nice fuzzy leaves. Its name is cottonweed, that's the common name. So it does feel a little cottony here, but it's nice soft felty leaves. These plants are adapted to kind of growing in shingle or sandy substrates by the sea. And across the Mediterranean, you'll find it on a lot of Mediterranean islands and around the Mediterranean coastline. One of the reasons why we, I think it's uh, becoming a little bit rare and, and um, critically endangered here in Ireland is this marum is thriving and outcompeting. So you see this uh, cotton wheat here, it's, it's quite a kind of long leggy plant and it's not as robust or it's not as strong as these grasses. So these grasses, uh, this marum grass, which is like the, the strong seaside grass that spikes you as you walk through the dune, this plant here is outcompeting this one. So when things are quite rare, other things can kind of outcompete or smother them. So this is one of Ireland's critically endangered plant species and it's one uh, we really look um, to conserving into the future. This lovely daisy is called sea mayweed. Triplurospermum maritimum. This plant is an indicator species for vegetated shingle. So what we mean by an indicator species is, if you find this, this tells you that you're actually in quite the specialist type of vegetation. So this is the indicator species for this vegetated shingle. And you can see the substrate here, it's quite gravelly and you've got the cobble. So it's got this shingle substrate. This plant deals with its harsh environment by having tiny little leaves. So these leaves uh, don't dry out as much as a big leaf. So if you've got tiny little leaves, you can actually deal with this harsh coastal environment. This stunning plant here with the lovely blue tinge to the foliage is Oryngia maritimum or sea holly. This plant is one of our most stunning native plants. We also grow oryngium in our gardens. So a lot of people have oryngium in the gardens. It's one of the reasons um, that it was thought that it's now extinct maybe in the east coast of Scotland and England is because people maybe collected it. It's quite rare and a threatened species and it's found in very few localities around the coast. It's in the same family as carrot. And one of the uses for it in the past was that people used to dig up the roots and dip them in sugar and have them as candied roots. But there is a bit of an issue with flatulence. So it won't kill you, but it will make you fart. This stunning little plant here is horned poppy and you can see how it gets its name for these magnificent horns which are the seed pods of Glaucium flavum which is its Latin name. You can see it has these wonderful sheeny silky little petals here and these are beautiful. This plant has nice blue green leaves as well like the sea holly uh, that we also looked at uh, but this one when people have uh, in the past mixed up sea holly for the roots of this, you can eat the roots of the sea holly, but with this one you can't eat the roots. So you can kind of see they have quite similar leaves, these blue-green uh, leaves. So this one, if you eat the roots of this one, it'll kill you. So it'll show you why you need to know your plants at the coast. This plant here is called sea aster, Tripolium panonicum. It's a lovely plant and it's very pretty and it flowers at this Michaelmas or autumn time of the year. You'll see the leaves here are long and narrow and they've actually got a quite a thick cuticle and that helps it deal with the drying wings and the dry condition here on the shingle. 